Thank you for joining me. I am Tracy Finds Your Flipping Queen, and today, today's presentation is all. Oh, it's oh, it's Mindset Mondays, as most of you know. And today, I'm going to talk about forgiveness. Okay, let me turn off this music. So um, I like to bring you current things that are going on in my life, in my crazy mind, and um, I like it to be uh, off the cuff, uh, from the heart. And today in my gratitude journal, which I do gratitude journaling, uh, I'd say almost every day, like five days a week, I am... Uh, living in gratitude and I am writing it in my gratitude journal everything that I'm grateful for okay and it can be the smallest thing like you know this green drink that I have <laughs> or this pen and it doesn't matter what it is as long as you're grateful for it you elevate your energy level to one of the highest forms of uh, energy and that is gratitude okay gratitude lives in the heart and the heart energy is the highest energy we can have okay this is going to help you connect with your god our god the universal energy this source energy whatever you want to call it this is where co-creation resides and I just got the shivers all over my body so I know I'm going the right way when I share something like that with you and I get you know goosebumps we call it here in North America or you you know you feel like the hair is standing up on your body right so I know I'm speaking the truth from my truth when I when I share things like that today's an important day I mean every day is an important day but today the topic I think is really important. Um, this was a really big, big one for me to allow into my life for, for many, many years. Um, when I was not living in gratitude, I was a perfectionist. And I think a lot of you probably can, um, relate to, that type of a tendency and for me i was a control freak i was a perfectionist i was stressed out a lot um people were upsetting me a lot uh people weren't doing what i wanted them to do um i was um you know i was i was angry a lot a lot more than i am today um but most of the time i was just stressed out and, and anxious um, because things weren't going my way and when you're a perfectionist and a controlling person, you know, a lot of things are, are going to appear like they're not going your way because like, you know, shit happens and, and it's okay. And, and I just thought that that was, um, not how things should go and that I, I needed to control them. And honestly, uh, you really, you know, you really are, you know, you're co-creating your uh, life, your world, but um, you also have to allow that you're not going to know everything. You're just not going to, you're not going to have all the answers all the time. Um, and you're going to need to allow and have the patience to let those things come into your life and reveal themselves to you. And I, um, I had the, the, the biggest lesson, um, the biggest knock on the head really to change me from, from feeling that way was, um, I was given twins. So I got pregnant with twins and, um, I'm already getting shivers over it because I know that that was given to me for that very, very reason, which was to show me that I cannot control everything and I can I cannot live that way any longer. It was not a choice anymore. I, it was taken out of my hands. And so when I had the twins, I knew right then and there that my, my world was over. My controlling perf perfect world was coming to an end. 
And it was such a blessing for me um, because um, going forward, it just relaxed me. I just didn't have those perfection. I couldn't be a perfectionist anymore. It was impossible. Everything, you know, all of the things that I thought were important, which was having my house organized and having my whatever, my day planned out or whatever it was, like there, there, I just didn't have a choice in it anymore. My house was would be a disaster when it was a disaster and I couldn't control it because I had now three little kids. And also even my day would get upset by the children. So I could not, I just had to go with it. There wasn't another way, there wasn't a choice. So it was forced on me and I was, <laughs> and it was exactly what I needed. And, and, and so I know I, I, I want to get to the forgiveness part. So over the holidays, things tend to um, get out of, out of line, um, out of routine. Uh, and you, you know, you find yourself and, I, and, and, and this is a lesson for me. So I, I found myself out of my routine, um, you know, probably, uh, you know, sleeping too late going uh eating you know eating and drinking maybe the wrong things a little bit um feeling kind of crappy and i just wanted to you know instead of beating myself up about this i i just talked to myself about it and said okay you know what it's okay you know i i'm gonna forgive myself i'm gonna forgive myself for um you know being lazy uh maybe eating overeating on something um or not going to bed uh, you know on a decent hour and staying up all night or whatever it was i was doing and i i just decided that it's okay you know i just you know forgiveness is so important and you can always reboot yourself um at any time and and that is really the message i want to share with you is that I too fall off the horse. Um, I fall, fell out of my routine. I, you know, I did stuff that was fun in the moment, and then maybe I was like, "Oh God, now I don't, I don't really feel so great." <laughs> and I, 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 I just want to tell you, it's okay. I, I, you can forgive yourself for those kind of things that that, um, you know, upset you or or set you back. It's, a, it's actually, you know, a curiosity, too, of mine, which is to just sort of understand, like, you know, what happened there? Like, maybe it's an opportunity to reassess um, your focus and, and finding, you know, your clarity, right, in, in what you're doing we're not doing <laughs> and uh, you know but at the same time you know ultimately I want to just say that it's okay I just want you to forgive yourselves too I'm sure all of you are relating to this because um, who wouldn't right I mean we're not we're not um, perfectly organized people we're not perfectly uh, dieting people, we're not perfectly exercising people, we're not perfectly sleeping people, like everything is, I mean, we have an idea or a sense of what we want it to be and, and it's not always exactly that way and it's okay. You know what? We are given the gift of a new day every day where we can um, do better. And that's Basically, what I wanted to share with you today is please be kind to yourself, uh, forgive yourself. It's okay to start anew um, the next day and, you know, always um, strive for something better, right? So that's it for today. It's a short one. Please forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Um, we're all doing, we're all making, uh, some bad choices sometimes and it's okay. You know, at least you're having most likely some fun, which is good. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you here on Thursday for Flipping Thursdays. I am the Flipping Queen and I love sharing with you, uh, Mindset Mondays, Flipping Thursdays. See you all soon.